and uh, hello everybody welcome back to um, regular viewing uh, for Revit okay so let's get into it All right so in the previous video okay um, remember we did a um, a floor here which was just a regular generic floor for Revit um, and um, works okay in general but we do get some issues when we start looking at um, sections okay and it can be a little bit um, untidy there for the simple fact that the floor is still um, square at the top and that doesn't suit us in Australia and New Zealand where we um, run brick veneer a lot um, so that was one way, so that was, that was using that particular floor system. Okay. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to do um, um, use um, a building pad to look at this, see if we can achieve a similar result and see what sort of things um, happen. Okay. So um, First things first, I'm just going to have a quick look at my um, elevation there. Okay. Alright, so you'll see here I've only got a ground floor plan. I have no levels below it, um, but that doesn't matter. Um, I'll show you a nifty little trick when we um, do this. Okay. So, um, so step number one is to do a building pad. Okay. Uh, go to the floor plan that you want. Okay. Um, actually, another quick check. Yes, we do have a topo surface. Not going to work without that. Okay, so step number one, get into the right floor plan. Step number two, go to your massing and site tab, or site only if you're running Revit, uh, Revit Lite LT, and click on the building pad. So we have done this before, so um, now what we are going to do here is that um, we're going to have a look at the edit type pad, okay, and bring it into the middle okay and you'll see that the thickness there is 304.8 millimeters which is quite thick okay we don't want it that thick so what we're going to do is we're going to do a wafer thin pad okay so I'm going to edit this one okay and where the structure is I'm not even going to worry about materials or anything like that but I'm just going to make this a whole 1.0 millimeters thick okay and I'm just going to go OK. Revit's let me do that. As long as it's got a thickness, it will build it. OK. And I will now apply and go OK. Right. So, got my building pad here. Um, it's at the ground floor plan. I actually want it to cut a little bit deeper than that. So, I'm going to use this height offset here from level. And I'm going to tell Revit to go. For argument's sake, minus 300 millimeters. Okay, so this pad's going to be built well below. So apply that automatically, and I'm going to just build it over here. So again, I'm just going to pick up a little square, and I'm just going to build a little section of the building pad there. Okay, so this is building at ground floor plan minus 300 millimeters. That's so going down. Okay and I'm just going to finish the sketch. This time we're not going to see anything okay but what I'm going to do I'm just going to grab this section actually no we'll build a new section because we might so show these two side by side so there's my section I'm just going to flip it around so it's in the right direction just like that okay so just double click on that arrowhead Okay, what can we see here? Okay, now with all that mess, if I tab through that, there's my uh, CAD file. I don't want to see that right now, so EH, hide from view. Okay, and I will take it into fine detail level so we can see what's happening in the wall. Okay, now what we're seeing here. 
Okay, there's um, some plaster and wall and things like that. If I hover over there, there it is there. Okay, so if I hover over, there it is, pads one. So that's the pad that I've just built. Okay, and what it's done, remember it's a building pad, so where it will interact quite happily with the topo surface. What it does is it's, it's done a little cut um, about there. Okay, so what that's done, that hasn't given us a floor, okay, but what it has done is it has cleaned up the topo surface a little bit. Let's just say for instance, if I pick that, uh, let's cut that minus 500 and apply it. Okay, there we go, that's a little bit clearer now. Okay, so there's, there's our building pad down there, and that just basically, we can push and pull that as far as we like. Okay, I've got my brick veneer wall here. And I can push and pull the um, brick and air cavity um, extension as far as I like, or I could adjust it in my properties. Either way is fine. Okay. So now what's going to happen? Okay, we're running sort of over time on this my normal video time. Okay, is that we can now use? Okay, if I go to my annotate tab, okay, I can now go to say a a region, annotate, region, masking region, okay. Um, I, I'll probably use a reasonably thick pen, probably a 0.25, okay. So what I can now do, so this, this is alternative two, okay. So what I'm doing is I'm using this field region tool, uh, 400, okay. It's all a bit approximate. Okay, so what I've done there, okay, is I've used the filled region or this masking region to um, basically draw up or you know do a 2D CAD of where you know our section would you know where our slab would be. Um, so for in one in one aspect it's it's good um, it means we can draw things up fairly quickly um, number two not so good is that you have to manually draw this and there is no other floor there at this stage so this is where it starts getting fun with Revit and we start making informed decisions about how we want to present information okay so in the previous job okay section one okay we built this floor here okay so in floor plan we can see a floor and we can tag it and we can get spot elevations and it we get some parametric behavior but we get rubbish on this side which is really unhelpful section two okay we get a beautiful looking slab okay it will behave itself in 3d okay so in 3D, I don't see any rubbish here. Okay, it's nice and clean for the brickwork. Okay, but at the end of the day, this is just a two bunch of 2D lines that aren't going to give us any other behaviour apart from what we see on this particular view. So I'm going to call it quits there and let you mull over this. Okay, but this shows you a couple of different ways of um, you know getting information into sections, especially when it comes to slabs and these horrible brick veneer um, buildings, which Personally, I'm not a big fan of, but it's our bread and butter here, so we have to be able to use um, the software to deal with it. Okay, so we will see you later. Ooh, don't want that. Okay, bye.